Do you absolutely believe that? Your story tells me how good God is. If you think about it, I could probably tell a story about each and every one of you. But I'm praying that one day our church is going to be so large, I won't be able to. Amen? Amen. Your story, what you're going through, is, is helping us to be able to say whatever Barb went through and God saw her through, I can go through it too. Whatever happened with anybody, if God did it for them, God can do it for me. That's what this life is about. When you slip and you fall, don't think that somebody is not wanting to see whether or not you're going to get up. Verse 1, O Lord, attend to my cry. Give ear to my prayer. If your life is slipping away, pray. God will answer your prayers. Always remember, if life knocks you down, then prayer will pick you up. Oh, I like that. If life knocks you down, then prayer will pick you up. Turn over there and say, I've been picked up by prayer. Yes, you have. So I'm here to tell you a, a story, a story that is going to be very brief, a story about a young man that slipped and fell. Because you see what happens when you slip and fall. You find out that life looks a whole lot better when you look up. So there was this young man that we grew up with, and this young man had it all. And what happened was he fell into temptation, the temptation of what I call just living. And God had blessed him with a wonderful family, a beautiful, just beautiful children, an unbelievable good job. But he fell into something that somebody makes sure easily happens in the United States because there once upon a time was this thing called prohibition. And now if you want to be an alcoholic, you don't have to walk far. There's somewhere that you can go in walking distance to get that which you need to drink. And he had it all. But what happened was is that those afternoon cocktails started becoming evening cocktails. Then it started becoming Bloody Marys in the morning and martinis in the afternoon and little drink at home with his wife in the evening. He became an alcoholic. He left his job, or no, did his job fire him? He left his job because his own behavior dictated that he was going to lose his job. But he kept on drinking. He lost his family. He kept on drinking. He became homeless. He lost it all because of the love and the joy of being able to escape in that bottle. How difficult and how easy it is to slip. And he found himself in a Catholic church that literally told him that he was a sinner on his way to hell. He tried then, this is what we grew up with, he then tried to commit suicide. If you want to try it, you can try it. And some people succeed. And some people try suicide because they know that it will be what? An entrance way to say, help me. Because if you're really sincere about taking your life, you won't leave it to chance. And regrettably, that was his cry for help. So there he was, almost out of here. And wouldn't you know that a little bitty 14-year-old young lady saw this man dying and she had the wonderful idea of doing what? Calling the police. Who came, took him, put him in a hospital. He was healed. 
He promised he would get his life back, for he had slipped and fallen. He realized he had lost it all. He got to the point where he was able to think that the, this world could not get any worse. He lost his what? Relationship with God. No matter what happens in life, do not slip and fall and lose your relationship with God. God is bigger than the bottle. God is bigger than the addiction. God is bigger than your circumstance. God is bigger than your situation. With God, all things are possible. He rose up. He fell. He fell and he rose up. And this day, this day, if he were to walk in this church, you will find out that he's a councilman in Cleveland, Ohio. Don't let life get you down. If you slip, get up. God has something in store for you. Whatever you're going through, do not let this world cave in on you. If you slip, get up. If you have to crawl to the snow, crawl to the snow. If you have to be able to hurt and feel the pain of the fall, then don't let the pain and the hurt take over. Just know that you will be able to rise up, that nothing will be able to defeat you. No job, no lack of a job. No love, no lack of love. No loneliness, no fullness will stop you from the love of God. So hear this last. There was this man in 500 B.C. named Herodotus. Herodotus was a Persian postal system creator. He created the postal system in Persia. He was a prophet. And from this Bill Wetbarker, we got this phrase, neither snow nor sleet nor rain nor heat of night will stay the courier from, in his original words, from the swift completion of their appointed rounds. And I am here to tell you, I'm going to give you a Wallaceism. Neither debt, nor despair, nor disease, nor depression, nor gloom and loneliness of light will stop our God from the completion of his rounds. God will deliver. Your mail may not arrive on time, but God's timing will never keep you to a point where it will say postage due. God will deliver. Repeat, God will deliver. Repeat, God will deliver. Repeat, God will deliver. Whatever you're going through, God will deliver you through, and he will be right on time. Slip, fall, get up. Amen.